Hello and welcome to RTC TV4. We are here at the Rochester Youth Baseball League field where we are watching the boys of summer. Whitco versus Rochester are your two teams tonight. Becky has the lineups. For Whitco in blue, we have leading off Oosley, Kripe, Harper, Schroeder, Kreider, Russell, Yoey, Miller, Adkins, and Dennis. For our Rochester Zebras, we have Bumford, Fervida, Smith, C, Smith A, Cypher, Lutz, Kennedy, Freeman, Vance, and rounding it up is Darling. So we just had a national anthem performance by the Girls of Summer. I think the sisters and or young spectators that are watching the Boys of Summer here at the Youth League Fields. And we have the warm-up pitches. And the first batter for Whitco is Oosley, and he's waiting on deck. First pitch is outside for a ball. Ball two. Ball three, three straight balls by A. Smith. Number one, Oosley has three balls, no strikes. And ball four, he will go down to first base. Up to bat now is number four, Kripe. Nice scoop by the catcher. That stops the runner on first from getting second base. That was That is Oosley on first. Good eye by Kripe. Two balls, no strikes. Nice solid hit to the shortstop. They are going to get the out at two. And a, they almost threw past, they threw past the pitcher, but Kripe stays on first. The force at second is the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up number three batter, Harper. Ball high. Swing and a miss for strike one. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Harper, third batter up to bat. And he swings for strike two. Swing and a miss for strike three, which is out number two in the top of the first here. Up to bat now, number four. Number 41, fourth batter, Schroeder. That's all right. Ball high. There still is a runner on first base, which is Kripe, who had a nice hit to the shortstop, but did get his teammate out at second. 
no, 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 no. no. Pitch number two comes into Schroeder for a ball that goes will we'll go to the backstop and that'll put Kripe on second base. Two balls, no strikes. Ball three is high. Two outs, top of the first. Schroeder, number 41 for Wicko up to bat. Ball to the backstop again. He's going to try and steal third. Catcher throws it down to third. And that gets past the third baseman, so Kripe is safe. Good backup by the left fielder. That could have been an easy run for Whitco if he would not have backed up that throw. And that was ball four for Schroeder, which puts him on first, first and third. And Kreider, number two, up to bat. Ball high. Two down, first and third, Kreider up to bat. He grounds out to the third baseman for out number three. And that is the end of the top of the first. We'll be back.
and we're back. We have Rochester Zebras up to bat now. In the box is number eight, Bumford. First pitch, oh, I'm sorry, it's a 1-1 one, one count. One ball, one strike, and that is ball two. Strike two, making the count even at two and two. You got it, you got it. And a foul ball. Ball three, full count. And that is strike three, out number one. And now bring into the box Fervida. This is the second batter, he's number 18. First pitch comes in for a strike. Bounces off the umpire's helmet on that foul ball. Making the count one and two. And that is strike three and out number two. Wicko pitcher throwing really well so far. Third batter is C. Smith, number 51. First pitch is a ball. Ball two. Nice stop by the catcher. That is ball three. And ball four. Abby might have jinxed him on the same yeah. he was doing well. Brant would say that I jinx it all the time, so it's probably true. Now up is A. Smith, number 34 for the Zebras. Nice stop by the catcher, holding Smith up first base. That is ball one. Swing and a miss, strike one, one ball, one strike. Ball two. Strike two, evens the count at two and two. There are two outs here in the bottom of the first. And 
And strike three, out number three. That'll take us back, take us to the top of the second. When we come back, you're watching RTC TV4. We are back and Whitco is up to bat. Up now we have number six batter Russell. First pitch comes into him for a ball. Pitch number two, ball high. Strike one, two balls, one strike. Nice stop by the catcher. That was a ball in the dirt. Batter did swing for strike number two. And a nice solid hit to the shortstop who will wing it over to first and a nice scoop by the first baseman for out number one for the Rochester Zebras. Up to bat now is Yoey number eight. He's the seventh batter in the lineup. Swing and a miss for strike one. Ball high, one and one is the count. You're good, Aiden, you're good, buddy, let's go. You got it, you're good. Strike two. Strike three out number two. Oh, 
Now up to bat is number 12, Miller. Swing and a miss for strike one. One ball, one strike, two outs in the top of the second. Strike two. Swing and a miss. Ball low, even in the count at two and two. Ball inside. Good miss, Full count. Good miss. Ball four. Now up to bat is number twenty two, Adkins. Ball one, nice stop by the catcher. Holding Miller at first. Let's go, bud, you got it. Swing and a miss for strike one. One and one is the count. Good scoop by the catcher. Fake throws to the first baseman to try and get Miller to dive back. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Next pitch comes in for a ball and another nice scoop by the catcher. You got him, Aiden. You got him, buddy. You got it. Three, one. Ball four. Puts runners on first and second with two outs. And that brings up number 21, Dennis. Strike one. Swing and a miss for strike two. Two quick strikes for Smith. And strike three, which will end the top of the second. We will, Rochester Zebras will be up to bat when we come back. And we're back in the bottom of the second with Cypher leading it off, number 23. 
We have no score here. Ball outside. Ball outside. 2-0 is the count. Foul ball. First strike one, making the count 2-1. Long foul ball for Cypher. Foul ball. Strike two. Good look, good look. Three, two is the count. Full count. Nice deep ball to right field. That'll go over the right fielder's head and Cypher will be running the bases and he will get to second. A nice lead off double at the bottom of the second here. Big smash up to bat by Cypher giving the Rochester Zebras a little momentum. It's been a pretty tight game up to this point. Is that the first hit of the game? It is, yes, that is the first one. Now up to bat, number 17, Lutz. First pitch comes in for a ball. Ball outside, 2-0. There are no outs in the bottom of the second. Strike one. Two balls, one strike. Foul ball, even in a count at two and two. Lutz hoping to move his teammate around the bases and score a run, get a run on the board for them. Rochester swinging at some pretty high pitches these last couple batters. Two two is the count. Ball high. Make the count full. You got it, Luke. You got it. You got it. Oh. In a low ball, called strike three. That'll be the first out. And that'll bring up Canada up to bat. Strike for the first pitch. Ball to the backstop. And Cypher will stay at second base. And that is ball one, making the count one and one. <laughs> Kennedy steps back in the box with one one count, one out, and a teammate on second base. And strike two. Let's go, Aaron. Come on, bud. We need you. Ball making the count two and two. Um. 
Swing and a miss for strike three. Out number two. Now up to bat is number 42, Freeman. Kennedy will go in for Cypher on the base paths. First pitch to Freeman is a strike and a ball to left field that is not caught. Kennedy will get to third, round third, and heads home and will cross it safely. And Freeman will stay at first base, but does get the first RBI of the game for either side. Two outs, and Vance, number 13, is up to bat. This is the first lefty we've seen of the game. So Freeman got an RBI and scored Kennedy, who was pinch running for Cypher. And Freeman is now on first with teammate Vance up to bat. First pitch is a strike. Strike number two is a swing and a miss at a high ball. O2 is the count, two outs. And swing and a miss for strike three. That will end the bottom of the second. We are watching Youth League Baseball on RTC TV4. We'll be back. And we are back with Whitco up to bat. We are back to the top of the order with Oosley, number one, up to bat. First pitch came in for a ball. Two O is the count. Ball three. Yeah. 
And that is ball four, and Newsley will make his way down to first base. That brings up to bat number four, Kripe. Ball to the backstop, and that'll put Usley on second, rounding and going to third, and he will be safe. Slide under that tag. So on the pass ball that ricocheted off a of pole, he got two bases, and he's now on third with no outs, and Kripe up to bat. Waco has to make up to do. They did get a run scored off of them last inning. Making the score 1-0, Rochester leading. Crape has a 1-1 one, one count now. Ball two. Crape had a nice hit. Last at bat, hard hit to shortstop. He did get his teammate out at second, although it was a solid hit. 2-1. And a ball high for a 3 1. Good stop by the catcher for the Zebras. <laughs> Foul ball. And a hard foul ball. He's still battling. 2-2 two -two is the count. Swing and a miss for strike three. And that's the first out of the inning. Now it's about number six, Harper. Ball one will go to the backstop and it, he will save it from a run scoring. It bounced back just far enough for that runner to be held up at third. Strike one, one ball, one strike is the count. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runner on third. And a foul ball. Ball two goes to the backstop, bounces back, and catcher gets it in time for the third base the runner on third to be held up. Two, two is the count. And another foul ball. Hey, way to battle up there, bud. Come on, Jake, squeeze. Here we go, guys. Ball three, bounces in front of the catcher. Full count, runner on third base. Rochester Zebras up 1-0. Rochester Zebras call a timeout to go over the game plan and kind of help the boys relax here. Number six, Harper is up to bat for Whitco. Hard hit. 
it to the shortstop. He will throw it four, and the runner will be safe. That'll tie the score at 1-1 one one in the top of the third. Good RBI by Harper. He is also safe at first. So there's only one out, runner on first base. And that brings up number 41, Schroeder. Ball one. Strike one, one ball, one strike. Falco girls, girls working in that area. Hard hit to the shortstop. It'll bounce off his mitt. And that'll get runners on first and second. They will hold there. Just one out for Whitco. And Kreider is up to bat, number two. Hard hit to the shortstop once again, and he whips oh, it over to first nice. base for a great throw. And that is actually out number three, and I thought it was out number two. That was a double play. Oh, He's I didn't see that. Stepped on nice. second. I wasn't quick enough on my button, but he got there out at second base and then came over at first base. So he got all a double right. play all by himself. Well, the Rochester Zebras will be up to bat when we come back in the bottom of the third. You're watching RTC. We are back in the bottom of the third. We have number two, Darling, up to bat. Last batter for the Zebras. First pitch comes in as a strike. He will back out of the way of that one, and that'll be ball one. Ball outside, 2-1 is the count. Go, Dalen, you got it, buddy, let's go. Come on, Dalen, I got it, Dalen. I got it, 
And that is ball four. He will go down to first base. Pitcher throws over to first as Darling is rounding, and Darling does get back to the base in time. Now we will have our leadoff, Bumford, back up to the bat. And the first pitch is a ball. Score is tied at the bottom of the third inning. High pitch, swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Hit to shortstop. The shortstop will bobble it, and everyone will get to their bases safely. So now there are no outs and runners on first and second. And number 18, Fervida, up to bat. Ball high. This is Coach. There's another ball that goes to the backstop, and the runners will stay put at their bases. And a nice solid hit up the middle. That'll send Darling. That'll send Darling to third. And Bumford to second. Fervida is thrown out at first. He does not get he does not dive back in time. That's the second time Rochester has almost been picked off. Or been picked off. Yep, rounding first base. The batter before actually got close call. I think we had confusion because Bumford at second was headed to third and Darling was not sent home. Okay. So everyone was planning, up planning on, on going to the next base but had to mm -hmm. retrace their steps. It's happened once or twice, I think. So now up to bat is number 51, Smith. He has only one out with two teammates on base. His first pitch is a swing and a miss, strike one. A nice hit to second base. That'll be an RBI. He will get out at first, but he will have a runner score. And that'll put Rochester up two to one. And Aiden Smith, the pitcher, will be up to bat now with two outs and a runner on third. Strike one. You got it, Aiden. You got it. You're good. Aiden, sooner. You're late. Big time. Strike the ball, Aiden. Let it boy. Let it boy. Check swing. I think he will hold, and that is ball one. One and one is the count. Strike two comes in, making the count one and two. Ball two, two, two. Two outs, Rochester leads two one and has a runner on third base.
ball outside, full count. And that is a swinging strike three for out number three. You're watching RTC TV 4. When we come back, we'll be at the top of the fourth. Over. I know, I'm mad. What were you doing? Just out in the woods, helping my cousin. And we are back, and we have Whitco up to bat. Number seven, Russell, is at the plate. He had a foul ball for strike one. The score is 2-1. Rochester leads. They scored another run in the bottom of the third. And a good stop by the catcher for ball one. Pop fly back to the pitcher is caught for out number one. And that will bring number eight, Yoey, the pitcher, up to the plate. Strike one. Ball high, one one is the count. Two balls, one strike. Ball high, 3-1 is the count. Ball four, that'll send Yoey down to first. He will hustle trying to look at two, but the catcher also hustles and will hold Yoey at first. Now we have number 12, Miller up to bat. One out with the runner on first. Strike one. Miss Amy, 
Yoey goes to steal second and backtracks to first and is tagged out. Good play by the Zebras. That is out number two. Number 12, Miller up to bat. There are two outs now. He has a 1-1 one, one count, making that 1-2 count. That ball evens the count at 2-2. Two and two. Strike three for out number three. That is the end of the top of the fourth. We'll be back. You're watching. Leading off the bottom of the fourth is Cypher, who got the rally going last, the very, the second inning with the double. And his first pitch will be a strike. Rochester Zebras lead Whitco two to one. Pitch number two is a ball high. One, one is the count. Ball two. You gotta come to you now, Jack. Gotta come to you. Here we go. Ball outside. Three one is the count. That's strike two, which will make the count full. Cypher will strike out for right, one, seven, out go. number one. And that'll bring up loot. Ball high. One one is the count. Two 
balls, one strike, one out for the Zebras. Foul ball, making the count full. Ball four, Blutes will hustle down to first base. And now Kennedy, number three, will be up to bat with one out and her teammate on first base. Strike one. Lutz will get second on the pass ball. Two one is the count. The count is even at two and two. Lutz is on second base, and there's only one out in the bottom of the fourth. Ball three, that pass ball, Lutz will stay at second base. Full count. The full count pitch comes in now, and that is ball four. Lutz will make his way to third base, and Kennedy will hustle down to first. Now up to bat is Freeman, number 42. He had an RBI in the second inning. Ball one. Strike one, Kennedy will get to second. Runners on second and third now. Freeman has a 1-1 one, one count and just one out. A nice shot up the middle, which will score Lutz. And that will get past the center fielder and also score Kennedy. And Freeman will slide into second base. He gets a double and two RBIs, which then moves the score 4-1. Zebra's ahead. Nice solid hit up the middle by Freeman. Now up to bat number 13, Vance. His first pitch comes in as a, for a ball. The backstop will send Freeman down to third base and he slides in safe. Bring him in. 
Rio. Strike one. Three one is the count. Oh, I'm sorry, full count. That's three two. And that'll be ball four. Runners on first and third for the next batter, number two, Darling. Whitco calls a timeout. Darling, the last batter for the Zebras, is at the plate now. He has runners on first and third and one out. Rochester is leading Whitco four to one. Pitching change for Whitco as they will take their warm up pitches. We will take a quick break as well. Score is 4 to 1 here at Rochester Youth League Baseball. Rochester's in the lead. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be back after this. We are back in the bottom of the fourth. Rochester Zebras lead four to one. Runners are on first and third, and number two, Darling, is up to bat. New pitcher for Whitco is Harper. Darling squares to bunt, and that goes by for a strike. And Vance will get his, make his way over to second base. Will he advance to second base? Yes. Get it because his last name is Vance. Oh, I do now. Yes. Ooh, got a big lead by Vance over there on second. He didn't like my pun. I didn't get it. I'm not smart enough to get it. Hmm. Brantwood got it. Probably. <laughs> Foul ball. That'll go off the catcher's arm. And that'll be. That will be strike two, making his count one and two. Coaches are gonna check out the catcher behind the plate. He got hit by that foul ball. Our catcher for Wicko is all good to go. He says he's fine. So now we will have Darling step back in the box with one ball, two strikes, runners on second and third. The pitch comes in for a ball outside. Ball three, that makes the count full.
Three balls, two strikes. And strike three comes in for out number two. And our leadoff batter, Bumford, is back up to bat. That is two outs with runners on second and third for Rochester. Rochester does lead four to one in the bottom of the fourth. Bumford will swing and miss for strike one. Foul ball. Oh, and two is the count now. They got it. Two strikes, buddy. Another foul ball to the backstop. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Ball one. Ball to the backstop comes right back to the catcher, which will hold the runners on base and they will not score. The count is even at two and two. And another foul ball for Bumford. A nice hard hit to left field will bounce right in front of the left fielder and get under his mitt. That'll score Freeman and Vance, and that'll put Bumford on third base for a triple. Quick around those bases, and he gets two RBIs with two outs. That'll put the Zebras ahead six to one against Whitco. Okay, I think she would probably do a three. Do I need gloves? Okay, but how long is that? Yeah, we're going to Got it. Please, thank you, five, so two hours. Two hours. Because I told her, they were, they got here. She'll be done by her, too. Oh, it's okay, we got her to do it, so. Oh, so you did? We got a couple. Okay, we'll see what you said. No, no, no. Now up to bat is Fervida, number 18. There are two outs and he has one strike. And that is a ball to the backstop. Bumford will slide in safe at home, making the score 7-1. Zebras ahead. Bumford had a triple and then a really speedy steal for home. It's not easy to steal with this backstop. Yes, they Rochester has gone on a big run here in the bottom of the fourth inning. They have made Wicko have to have a pitching change, too. That is 1-2, the count to Fervida. Two outs, 7-1, Zebras lead. Ball three, good stop by the catcher. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That'll end the fourth inning. You're watching RTC TV four. We will.
Welcome back. We are here in the top of the fifth inning with Whitco up to bat. We have a new catcher for the Zebras. C. Smith is the new catcher. Ball one to the batter. And batter has to duck for that ball too. Three zero is the count. Whoa. Hard foul ball back at us. Three balls, one strike to Adkins. And a ground ball to the second baseman. He will flip it over for out number one. And that'll bring up number 21, Dennis for Whitco. There's an umpire coach's deliberation over on the side. I'm not quite sure what the discussion is about. Maybe a lineup question since there's been papers brought out or there's a rule book um, maybe about which side of first base the first baseman can be on. You know, they're oh, down yep. looking at first base. There's just a play at first base. Yep. So it's really a total guess. I'm not sure. Oh, is it um, the number of innings a pitcher can pitch? Potentially, because Aiden Smith has been pitching the whole game and they are making a quick change. So they could possibly be saying you can only pitch four innings? Mm-hmm. Different leagues have different rules, so I'm not up to par on all of them. But they will make a quick pitching change, so because of that, we will take a break as well. You're watching RTC TV.
off the board. So the call was that a pitcher is limited to the amount of innings and or pitches that he could pitch in a game. So that will bring Adkins, number 22, back up to bat, and there are no outs, so it's like a new inning. And Fervida will come in with strike number one. So the uh, inning pretty much starts over with a new pitcher because the original batter gets yep. to bat again, so there's yep. no outs. So just a slight penalty for Rochester to lose their out but switch their pitcher. 1-1 one, one count. One ball, two strikes. Ball high above his head. And a hard foul ball. 2-2 two, two is the count. And that is strike three, and that'll be out number one for the top of the fifth. So good job by Fervida coming in and still getting that out. Strike one to number 21, Dennis, up to bat. Foul ball, strike two. O2 is the count. Ooh, hit up to the mm. up the middle to the shins of the pitcher. And the third baseman will get the ricochet and throw it over to first base and the batter will be safe. They're going to go into the huddle to check on the pitcher. He's walking it off being tough. Right at the shin or uh, the side ankle of the or Yeah. Shook him up a little bit there. That was a hard hit ball. Yeah, it sounded very hard. He was throwing pit pretty hard, so it just came off that bat. And yeah, it didn't take much power from behind the bat since the pitcher was providing it. He's smiling, walking it off, laughing now. That makes you feel better. Yeah, the third baseman, that's how fast that ball was hit. The third yeah. baseman still almost got the out at first. Yeah. Throw a few practice pitches here to make sure everything is okay. Looks to be doing good. Nice strike on that practice pitch. He is good. His teammates go back to their positions. We are in the top of the fifth. The Zebras lead Whitco seven to one. Whitco now has a runner on first with one out and they are back to the top of the order. So we have number one, Oosley, up to bat.
Strike one. Looks like that hit didn't rattle him too much. He's still throwing a strike. Oh. They throw it over to first and they call him safe, but he steps off the bag. Oh, no. And they call him out. I think they're trying to decide if he had called time or not. So he was safe, stepped off while the tag was still on him. Yep. Therefore, he was out. I don't know if he thought he got called out or thought he had time. If so, that will be the third out of the inning. Second. That will be the second. No. Just a second. So they did call him out. They. Oh, whoa. Okay, they did call him safe. They called him safe. So he was on the bag, then he left. Now he came back, and he's there to stay. But the scoreboard still shows two outs. But there's only one because he's the one that had the line drive, and he was the second batter of the inning. It just got confusion because of the re bat, re at bat. Okay. So ground ball foul. That'll make the count 0 oh and 2. Uh, oh, 2 is the count. One out. Ball one. Line. Oh, nice catch yeah. by Aiden Smith at second. Oh, man. It was a pretty good throw over to first to try and get the double play. First baseman just bobbles it a little bit, and he is safe at second, or back at first. But that was a great catch. Thought that was going to get up the middle there. Yeah, definitely stole that hit. So now yeah. there are two outs. And that brings up batter number two, Kripe. He swings and fouls it off. For strike one. Whoa, foul ball straight back at his dugout on the third baseline for strike two. Foul ball on the third baseline. Ooh. Dive back to first base. Dennis is safe. One ball, two strikes to Kripe. And that is a short fly ball and a diving catch by wow. the pitcher. That hit by that batter did not stop him, and he continued to have a good inning pitching and a nice diving catch. We will be coming into the bottom of the fifth. When you come back, you're watching RTC TV4.
are back in the bottom of the fifth and Cody Smith, number 51, just got hit by a pitch and is making his way down to first base. And that'll bring up Aiden Smith to the plate. Swing and a miss for strike one. Pitch number two comes in, and that's a ball to the backstop. And Smith will run down and slide safe into second base. Base. Same thing. <laughs> one ball, one strike. Strike two. Ball three, nice catch by the catcher. <laughs> Foul ball. And strike three for out number one. And now up to bat is Cypher. His first pitch is a ball. Ball outside, 2-0. Two balls, one strike. And that is ball four. He will head down to first base. One out, runners on first and second. Lutz now up at the plate. The field over there? This one? Okay. I know you're from Parks program. I know you're from Parks program. Here we are, Jill. Are you ready to help with that? Are you ready to help? Okay. Ball outside. <laughs> Swing and a miss. And the runners will advance one base. The ball actually ricochets off of the catcher's gear and goes in front of home plate, and he was looking behind. Lost track of it. Like I said, this back stop's very short, and the umpire is an adult man, so obviously gets in the way every Hard once in a while. Hard to get around it. And that is strike three on Lutz, and he will be out number two. And then he goes over to third base to pinch run for the now catcher, Smith. Up to bat is Kennedy. Two outs. Swing and strike one on Kennedy. Bottom of the fifth inning, the score hasn't changed since the previous inning when Rochester went on their hitting streak and scored Quite a few runs consecutively. Oh, 
Ball one, one ball, two strikes. And a swing and miss for strike three, out number three. That is the end of the fifth inning. You're watching RTC TV4. We are back in the top of the six with Whitco up to bat. First ball comes in, ball one. Up to bat is Harper number six. Pitch number two is another ball. 2-0 is the count. So there has been some discussion if they play six innings or seven innings. If it is six, this will be it for Whitco. They are down and this will be the last chance for them to get a lead on Rochester. Yes, if they do not score more than seven runs, then Rochester will get a chance to bat. But if Rochester's leading, then the game will be over. Now, if we are incorrect and it goes to seven innings, then that is a moot point. But by the look of the 8 o'clock baseball game that is happening all around us, thinking that it might be 6 o'clock. Full count to Harper. And ball four, Harper will hustle down to first base. Smith behind the plate will hustle to get the ball. And we will have number 41, Schroeder, to the plate. First pitch, ball one. Hey, come on, down right. Strike one, one one is the count. Catcher throws it down to first and he slides in safe. Yeah. 
One ball, two strikes. Ball high, two two is the count. The count is even at two and two. Ball three, full count. So two walks this inning with no outs. Wicko having the most base runners that they've had all game. Mm -hmm. Ball one. Time out called by Rochester. Swing and a miss by number two, Kreider. Second swing and a miss for strike number two. Runners will advance on the pass ball. Uh-oh. Another pass ball will knock the ball way. Over that, to the dugout. That, the third baseman will actually yeah. get that pass ball. So Whitco will score their second run. And that'll be another walk. And a pitching change. They'll take a break to switch pitchers and warm up with the southpaw coming up to the mound. We'll be right back. You're watching.
We are back and Bumford is now on the mound. We have Russell number seven up to bat with no outs in a hard hit to right field, which is caught. And he will get it in and no one will score. But runner on first will advance to second. So big first out there for Bumford coming in on his first batter. And it looks like it was gonna be a hard hit ball in the gap, but Vance made his way over there to get that first out. There are now runners on second and third with Yoey up to bat. Seven two is the score, Rochester leading. The runners will stay where they're at. Good hustle by the catcher. One ball, one strike, one out. Runners on second and third. Number eight, Yoey up to bat. Outside pitch, ball. Ball, runner from third will slide in safe to home. And the batter will get over to second base on ball four. So we have runners again on second and third with one out. And we have Miller up to bat. Ball hit right over the third baseman's head, which will score a run. And the batter will get to second base and the runner on second will advance to third. That'll make the score four to seven. Strike one. Called strike on that hold. I think he changed his call to a ball. Okay. Thought he said strike. He did at first. I think he decided it was too low. There's a ground ball to the second baseman. He will throw it four, and the runner will be out. Yeah, that was a great quick nice tag. Uh-oh. Tag him, tag him. Oh. Wow. Whoa. I think he was out. So there was only one out. The team thought there were two, so the tag at home was actually the second out. And then the runner from first ran to second. They didn't get him, so the runner from third ran to home. He tried to jump over, and his foot was tagged, and that was out number three. We are headed into the bottom of the sixth. We'll be back.
in the bottom of the sixth, it has been determined that we are playing seven innings. So that first pitch is a dribbler to first base, and he will be tagged out. That'll be out number one, and that'll bring number 13, Vance, to the plate. Ball outside. Two oh. Two balls, one strike. I believe there is a game to be played after this one. It's supposed to start in six minutes, to be exact. Which will put them behind a little bit. Swing and a miss for strike two. Evening the count with two and two. One out here with Vance at the plate. And that is strike three, out number two, and Darling will step up to the plate. There was actually a scoring change with all the craziness of last inning. The score is seven to three, Rochester's in the lead. At one point in time, we thought Whitco had four, but they have three. They potentially could have had four. It was a nice jump over the mitt by the Whitco player that they yeah. ended up saying he got tagged in the foot. Yeah, that but was a good play. Good effort. 2-0 is the count. Swing and a miss for strike one. 2-1 two one is the count. Three one, ball outside. Strike two, three two. And strike three, out number three. That is the end of the sixth inning. You're watching RTC TV for we'll
And we are back. Whitco is up to bat. Number 21, Dennis, here going up against Bumford, who came in the halfway through last inning. Swing and a miss for strike two on 21. The score is 7-4. Rochester is in the lead. So three outs in the game should be over here. That is ball one. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball. Two, two is the count. And a hard line drive to center field for a single for Dennis. Now up to bat, back to the top of the order, Oosley. Ground ball to second base. He will get the lead runner at second and Usley will be safe at first. One out, runner on first base. Up to bat now is Kripe, number four. One out. And a ground ball to shortstop. They will get the lead runner. And Aiden, Aiden Smith will hold that, seeing that the runner was already through first base. So that is two outs. Whitco needs to score three here in order to move on forward in this game. Bumford throws a ball one. Foul ball, strike one. One one is the count, two outs. Foul ball, strike two. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Top of the seventh inning. We have a timeout for a ball over the fence. It's the next game waiting on deck, probably warming up on the sides of the field. Potentially one out away from their game starting. Strike three, out number three. I think they're stepping on first in case it was a drop third strike. But that will be the end of the game. That was Rochester Zebra 7, Whitco 4. Thank you for tuning in to RTC TV 4. Tune in next time.